People, welcome back to another video. We have just witnessed one of the craziest transfer sagas these past two weeks. Chelsea have just absolutely finessed Liverpool for two of their big summer targets this summer. As we all know, Liverpool are in desperate need of a center defensive midfielder. After the loss of Fabinho, there was two big targets they had in mind. The two targets were Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia. As we all know, Moises Caicedo was the number one target for Liverpool. They had agreed terms with Brighton for £110 million. And everything was all set in stone. And the moment they go to sign the paperwork, Moises Caicedo says he wants to go to Chelsea. As Chelsea were also interested in the Ecuadorian. As we find out, Chelsea rekindled their interest and signed Caicedo for a whopping £115 million. Pounds. After the, as we all know after that, Liverpool had one more target in mind. Their target was Romeo Lavia. The young Belgian from Southampton. He, he had bright moments last season with Southampton. He played really pretty good for them for the most part. Up until they got relegated. But he is a standout player and a future, a future quality CDM to come. So as we all know, Liverpool had agreed a £60 million fee with Southampton to sign him. And Southampton accepted it. So it came to the point where as soon as they go to sign the papers... Chelsea were also interested in him. And him hearing that, he told Liverpool he would like to join Chelsea. And that's kind of, kind of mind-boggling to believe that. Because keep in mind, Chelsea have no European football whatsoever this season. And Liverpool have at least Europa League football. And the sad thing is for them, they really need a defensive midfielder, as we previously mentioned. But they've made some quality signings this summer for the midfield positions. But in other aspects of it they signed the likes of Dominic Schobeslai and Alexis McAllister these two players creatively they're amazing but defensively they're not going to provide you much you know they'll bring you a lot in the midfield to present great passes and great efforts for the attackers but they're not going to bring much quality defensively and the center defensive midfield position in my opinion is one of the most important positions in world football as we all know, there have been several amazing center defensive midfielders in the past, and they have saved teams absolutely because of that. One of those players in regards to that is N'Golo Kante. He was a big, big, he was a big presence for Leicester City and even Chelsea. He helped them win league titles, helped them win Champions Leagues, and it's a really important position because not only they're doing you the best efforts offensively with quality passes and everything like that and even providing chances they'll do you great efforts defensively and that's really important and Liverpool have been struggling to find someone to cover that position for them you know which really sucks but as of right now I see at the time of this recording it turns out Liverpool have found another target in their interest which is Wataru Endo from Stuttgart the 30 year old he is highly rated in the Bundesliga. He seems like he is a quality player, and he does he he helped Stuttgart a lot this season. But for the most part, he is thirty years old, which is very, which is kind of alarming in a sense, because how long is he going to be playing at a high level for? You know what I mean? Will Will he come and hit the ground running in a physical league like the Premier League, which is a which are several different question marks as these other players have experience playing in the Premier League. So it's a different idea and a different aspect for them. But from the sound of things, it looks like Liverpool have agreed an 18 million pound fee for him. Will it, will it transpire or will it be another collapse for Liverpool? We'll find out soon. But let's get into it for Chelsea. You know, with these two quality signings, they've made a lot of good signings this summer. As the likes of the two players I previously mentioned. And even Nicholas Jackson and Christian and Cuckoo. Christopher and Cuckoo. But let's talk about these two players specifically. You know, they're going to be paired up. There's a lot of quality midfielders in Chelsea right now. You know, we were talking about the likes of Enzo Fernandez, who had a really good World Cup in, the, in 2022. And even Conor Gallagher, you know, he probably didn't play much last season. But for Crystal Palace, he was a huge part for that team. And he is, he is quality, to say the least. Now... I wonder with these guys, will they, 
will they fit in into Pochettino's system as soon as possible? Or is this going to be another long-term thing that we're going to wait to see? I don't know. Only time will tell. But Chelsea, it's kind of exciting for them right now. You know, they, they have a really young roster. They unloaded, they offloaded a bunch of players that were there for a long period of time as the likes of Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, players that really didn't work out, even though Mason Mount did work out. But other than that, it's kind of exciting right now. You have a good manager right now and Mauricio Pochettino, who is a club builder. He helped build Tottenham into a Champions League final, a Champions League finalist side. And I'm I'm an Arsenal fan, so for me to give Chelsea praise like this is not something I would like to do, but it's something kind of needed to be said. Todd Boyley has gotten a lot of criticism, at least this last season, but he's he's starting to turn things around with them. He's bringing a lot of young depth with the likes of um, with the likes of Mudrik, the likes of you know. Like we said before, Enzo Fernandez. And it's excited to see Axel Desai, Wesley Fofana. Unfortunately for him, he's injured right now. But, you know, he is quality. And they're starting to shift things around and build this younger side. And I'm telling you right now, if these guys grow to be what they could be, they could be a title fighting side. They could be fighting for championships. They could be fighting for titles. And... And that's exciting to see for Chelsea fans. I would be kind of happy. You know, you already have decent players in the likes of Reese, Reese James, Ben Chilwell, Raheem Sterling. And to develop these guys and make them even better, that sounds great for them. So we'll see what plays out. As for Liverpool, hopefully things improve for them. They do have a lot of quality going forward, but they do lack defensive presence right now. Now tell me down below, people, who do you think will finish higher in the league? Will it be Liverpool or will it be Chelsea? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, people, good game, boys. Catch you later.